All right, so this is just a quick rundown how I got the uh, Monster Borza set up. Ah, uh, so it's got the uh, big Leopard motor. I think it's 4084. It's bigger than the Mamba Monster, so I mean it's awesome. You can gear it up as high as you want. It never even gets hot. I got a fan on it, but. It's not even plugged in because it doesn't even get hot. So, really, I mean, I got the cooling fans and stuff. So, it's an awesome motor. Super, super heavy duty. Good torque. Never heats up. Uh, I got the uh, the quick quick run, uh, 150 amp waterproof ESC. Uh, awesome. I've never had any problems with that either. Tons of power. Um, I'm running a, uh, a Savox uh, SC1257 titanium gear servo and that thing is unbelievable. Uh, normally the wheels just kind of go er, 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 you know stock but this thing it's like it's just like I mean I'm it's hard to do with one hand but I mean it's just instant it's lightning quick and uh it's got a glitch buster in there you want to it's such a high power serve all the savox servos you got to plug this into any port into your receiver and it gives it like a extra boost of power so because it needs it uh i'm running e revo shocks in the front right now just because i don't have another front set of shocks so and they actually work really good I like them they're really stiff so I mean I do a lot of pavement runs and they work great and uh, I got the uh, RC8T uh, Truggy adapters the blue aluminum ones there uh, I like the way the snap ring holds the pin in so you never have to worry about that and it gives it the extra width these are the stock Vorza arms and uh, between those RC8T adapters and then with the uh, offset wheels, it's pretty much, I don't know, almost the same as like a Savage Flux uh, as far as width, you know, except any of the monster trucks roll over so easily. And I mean, this thing, even with these huge tires, I can grab corners and it, you know, it handles like a buggy still, so. They're awesome. Uh, these tires are the Proline Shockwaves. I should get some street tires. I mostly just run on the street. I like to do street runs. But anyway, they're awesome. Perfect size. I think they're meant for a e Revo. Um, and the bumpers uh, are Thunder Tiger MT4. Uh, I don't know, look that up on Google. They bolt right onto the Vorza like they were meant to be front and rear. And then also, see, I cut the rear bumper. It had one going across because this is my new thing that I put on. This is awesome. Uh, and Thunder Tiger MT4 wheelie bar bolts on perfectly right in between the wing mount. You can still, because I was tearing up, this was from before. I had the wheelie bar it was kind of just sliding on the wing and now I mean I got this wheelie bar and you'll see in the video it is perfect I love it I love it I love it it's just like a savage flux you can run down the street doing a wheelie and save your wing and your body So uh, body mounts, uh, I like running monster truck bodies and actually that bug body is perfect the way it's rounded and everything. Uh, it tends to land on the wheels. I never really flip that much anymore because it handles so good but when I do that round body just flips it right back over. <laughs> and uh, the mounts are 
from the HPI Apache, which has pretty much the same shock mounts. So the body mounts bolt right on. You can adjust the height of your body. You can run pretty much any uh, Savage or T-Max or uh, you know any of those type of bodies on there. So yeah, they pretty much fit perfect. This is for I believe uh, Emax, and uh, it's really beat up. But you know, I mean, anyway, you get the idea. You can do like your truck body or whatever. You gotta run it kind of low because the buggy sits low. So I don't know. The bug one really works good for me. And right now, I'm just running 4S, uh, little 2200 battery to keep it light you know and actually that's all I have right now uh, I got the aluminum knuckles in the back um, stock arms all around never broken one they're tough as nails and uh, uh, that's about it I think uh, anyway um, oh actually I am running a techno chassis which is really cool. It's got the uh, four slotted uh, motor mount. Uh, it's the chassis is stronger and lighter. And look at the size of these center shafts that they give you. They are huge. They're about the same thickness as like the Savage Flux. I mean, they are bulletproof. Um, I have broken one. I snapped off one of these doing backflips on the street, but you know it's not bad I'll stick with the stock uh, the stock shafts as far as those but these center ones on the techno are just awesome and the rear one that's all the length it is it's super short it's never gonna bend you know I can do backflips and standing backflips and whatnot never have a problem uh, trying to think of some of the other stuff I did uh, this is just heat shrink I did end up doing heat shrink on these because the pins uh, they tend to loosen up and the pin will slide out so uh, I think the newer nitro uh, d8 or Vorza whatever is uh, they have some kind of metal sleeve that goes around there but I mean I just took it out put some heat shrink on it and just shrunk it down and I've never lost a pin again so so this motors it, it can handle it uh, right now I got a 20 tooth pinion and a 43 tooth plastic spur which uh, I had to try to believe it but I thought that a plastic spur would never handle 6S, you know, and all this, but it does. As long as you get your your mesh right, and this motor's got four screws, so it's not going anywhere, you know, it's tight. Um, I like the plastic spur, and by the way, the plastic spur is a Losi uh, 43 tooth, or 42 or 43 tooth. Um, yeah, the Losi spurs bolt right on to the HPI, uh, center diff. Um, so that's cool. I'm and, uh, on this truck, um, I'm sure people would not recommend it, but as far as fun goes, uh, it's cool. What I did is open up the, uh, center diff and the actual gears that spread the power to the front and the back i took all the oil out i put paper towels in there and filled it with super glue so yeah basically i locked the center diff um there's no slipper clutch so it's 100 percent power to the wheels which uh you know a lot of people are gonna say you know that's stupid you're just gonna break stuff but Man, as far as traction, uh, it is awesome. It drives like a monster truck, you know. I got wheelies on demand, you know. I can be going 40 miles per hour and still just bring the front end up in the air. And I don't get the crazy 
front wheel spin like the Shruggies do. Uh, so yeah, I I recommend it. You know, lock up that center diff. You know, you're gonna get 100% traction. You can do backflips on the standing backflips on the street. Uh, yeah, it's a cool mod too. Anyway, I this is like my work in progress, and I love it. It is so fun to drive. It uh, handles better than any monster truck it still drives like a monster truck it's not like boring and i don't know bottom out type of truck like the buggies it you know i can run any of the offset it's got to be offset but any monster truck tires i'm looking at those trenchers i'd like to get a set of those offset trencher x's but uh this the drivetrain is bulletproof i mean uh, those diffs are a lot of people put the Vorza diffs in monster trucks because they're stronger they're the strongest you know they're awesome and uh, yeah that's pretty much it and uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think and if you have any questions on uh, how to do it but hey if you got a 1 8 buggy you can do Pretty much on on any 1 8 buggy you can do the RC 8 T adapters put the wheelie bar and you got yourself a monster truck, you know so uh, anyway Subscribe leave me a comment and I'll see you later